just wanted to do a quick update, a little unboxing here. Just let everybody know that I'm still here. I'm still alive. Uh, I haven't been on much for, you know, for the last two or three months. Uh, you know, work's been busy, and then after, uh, after the holidays and work wasn't busy anymore, I've mostly just been playing Fallout 4. I bought a PlayStation 4, so if anybody wants to add me, I'll throw my uh, I'll throw my name down in the description, and you can uh, you can find me and add me. I uh, got I've got some plans for some uh, tackle craft and tying videos coming up in the future before fishing starts. Uh, you know, like usual, fishing starts here depending on weather, late March, early April, that kind of deal. Um, you know, April 1st is trout opener, so. Probably I don't you know I usually don't go out the first of April, a couple days later once the it's calmed down a little bit make sure the the water levels are down a little you know they're not really high and muddy from the from the snow melt. But um, you know depending on it you know it has it's been a really mild winter here and. I don't know if anybody's really ice fishing yet. I think they are a little bit here and there, but we're really just getting into the the cold temperatures now where we're getting ice on the lakes and everything. So depending, you know, it might be a really quick thaw and, you know, we'll be out fishing mid-March. That happened a couple years ago where we had a really early thaw and, you know, early March, like March 10th, March 15th, something like that, I was out already catching panfish so that'd be really cool if that happens again but uh you know i'll show off a couple things that i've picked up recently last month or two uh one thing i got was this is a buck bantam folder i don't know if it doesn't really look like the camera's going to focus on it very well whoops but this one I picked up for myself. I picked up another one of them too. It's a little. It's got American flags all over it. It's pretty cool. It's a. Uh, it's the mid-sized one. It's not the really big one, and it's not the little one. But it's a good-sized pocket knife. They had them on sale, so I bought two of them. One for myself, and one to give away as a prize. Probably in the fixed line. Probably in the first fixed line fish off. Uh, those, you know. I talked a little bit about not doing them again, but they'll be back. Uh, I also got my Christmas order from Clatterbrat I'll show off. I got a weasel, a tiger rat, and then two of the new peanut barts. So first up, here's the weasel. Sorry for the, you know, it's not a great picture on this, uh, on the webcam, but there's the weasel. It's a brown and white, kind of like a field mouse color. And then it's got the round rubber tail, and I asked Skip to try to leave it, uh, leave it all together. And what'll happen is a fish will, you know, a couple fish hit this, and it'll all separate. But I just wanted to, you know, see if he could leave it all together. And uh, I cut the, I cut the tip into a point so that it's all tapered and it's a different length when it gets separated. There's the weasel, uh, tiger rat, the same back up here a little bit oops same pattern just a matching set the white is glow I don't know if I said that or not both with uh, both with loud rattles and then the the deal for the Christmas was buy two lures get a free peanut Bart so this is uh, black Elvis peanut Bart it's got actually dual loud rattles in it and then I also bought the, this is the Bone Elvis peanut bar. I got that one also. One, you know, one I ordered and paid for, and the other one was the, uh, was the, the bonus for Christmas. Uh, one more thing. Let's see if I can reach this. There we go. Got this. Uh, Bulldog Fishmaster sent these to me as a, little bit of a Christmas present. I got some stuff I'm putting together for him, but uh, you know, I've just been distracted and, but I got some stuff I'm going to throw together for him and send out. But these are really cool. They're, uh, they're the Rage Craws. I'll pull one out here for you. 
probably everybody's you know fairly familiar with these but they're a cool color they're um let's see what color it says falcon light craw but they are i don't know if it'll show up in the in the camera or not but they're like a like a red with red flake on the belly yeah that's not showing up at all that side's red with red flake and then this side is like a watermelon with uh, black flake in it and so they're really cool looking um, I'm sure they'll work out for me up here and put them yeah I'll put them on a little jig head and like a quarter ounce jig head or something and I'm sure they'll catch some bass so I'll be using those as soon as I'm able to get out this spring but that's uh you know that's basically it I got a couple like I said I got a couple tying and tackle craft videos that I've got plans of I just got to get around to recording them and putting them up um, showed off some new purchases uh, like I said if you got PlayStation 4 and you want to add me the name is in the description box below so feel free to uh, to look me up and friend me or whatever you want to call it but I think that's it so thanks for watching thanks for uh, you know continuing to subscribe and watch my videos and everything like that I hope you enjoyed them